Did you know that AI can generate videos? Today, we're going to talk about the top five job interview tips for junior software developers. And also edit them with a single prompt. This AI text to video generator is called InVideo AI. You just enter your idea and it generates a script, a voiceover with multiple accent options, the footage, background music, and you can edit them all easily. You can publish these videos in multiple platforms, but if you don't like the AI generated voiceovers, then you can use your own. Today, we're going to talk about the top five job interview tips for junior software developers. If you upload your voice, AI will clone it and can generate the videos with your voice, not with the standard AI generated voices. It makes you even speak a foreign language normally, even if you can't. Hoy vamos a hablar sobre los cinco mejores consejos para entrevistas de trabajo. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do them all. And now if you are ready, let's get started. To start using InVideo AI, you need to head to this website. The link is below in description and you can sign up for free. So InVideo AI is an advanced AI power tool that transforms text prompts into complete videos, including scripts, voiceovers, video footage and subtitles. According to the official website, it has currently more than 25 million customers who is designed for content creators, marketers and educators to streamline video production with customizable templates, media libraries and advanced editing features. And once you are logged in, you will find yourself on this dashboard. It's very user friendly and easy to navigate. You can create your first video right away by clicking on this button here. Make sure that you are using the upper version. And all you need to do is to give here a prompt explaining what kind of a video you would like to have. For example, we can ask it to create a two minute long video about five job interview tips for junior software developers. The more information you give, the better it will create a video. But for this tutorial video, I just want to show its basic features. And when I click on generate, then it will start generating a video right away. But in this case, it will be an AI generated script and it may sound a bit robotic. So maybe it can be better if you actually use your own video scripts. And so it can create you a video based on the script you provide. And for that, you can choose here, for example, script to video option. Now here you will have more options that you can directly tell what kind of a video you want to have. So first of all, you can choose here the platform, let's say YouTube. And what you need to do is to enter your script here. If you copy your own scripts, then it will use this script for the video. You can add here a background music, let's say calm. The other settings are what kind of a voice you would like to have, let's say a female voice, what kind of an accent you would like to see. And here are the different speakers. But if you don't want to use these voices here, you can actually use your own voice. And to use your own voice from the home menu, just switch to the voices field. Here I uploaded, for example, my own voice. And if you click on this button and you need to follow these instructions here and upload an audio file that includes your own voice. If you do that, then InVideo AI will use your own voice in the videos. So your videos will keep their originality, which I find a really great feature. You can add subtitles if you wish. And here it will ask you what kind of stock footage you want to use. The free version doesn't include iStock because it is already a paid platform and you cannot use your own voice. But if you upgrade to a higher version, then you can use your own voice and you can also use footage from the iStock library and the last one is for the music. You can use free music from YouTube library directly. Then the music will be completely royalty free. Okay, so now we have entered our own script to the video with additional instructions. Now, when we click on this button, now it will start processing your prompt. In the second step before creating the video, we see that it created a title and it is asking for which audience will be this video for. I'm going to leave it as junior developers. It will also ask how the video should look and feel. We can make it, for example, inspirational. And also it will ask the platform. I will leave it as YouTube. Now, when we click on continue, it will start creating the video within a couple of minutes. When it is finished, then we will continue. Okay, so it created the video based on the script that we provided. But the good part is you can also edit your video right away here by simply writing a comment. For example, currently we don't have any captions. If you click here, you will see here some example prompts. Let's say 
add captions to the first chapter only. Okay, click on generate. Now, if I go back, we see that it added the captions, but not exactly as I wished. I asked it only to add to the first chapter, but it add to the whole video. So now I need to go back and fix it, but I will skip this for now because I want to show the other features. You will also see here additional editing options if you click on this button. It gives you three editing options. You can edit the media, the pictures here, the script itself, and the background music. Let's begin with the media. For example, if you want to change this footage here, you don't need to go and search the web one by one for long hours. You can actually search here for an image by typing just a keyword, and you will receive a lot of options so you can save a lot of time. If you replace the image, let's say with this one, now the new footage that I've selected will overwrite the older one. The next editing option is you can edit your script. Here, if you want to make a change on the script, you can directly type something new or you can remove. You can also delete the entire chapter if you prefer, or you can change its position or duplicate it. The third option is editing the background music. If you are not happy with the music, you can choose here another one. There are actually a lot of different editing options. You can just type here as a prompt. You can play it around. I'm not going to dive in more deeper, but this is generally how you can directly edit your videos in the in video AI before even exporting it. Once you are finished, you are happy with the entire video, then you can click on the download button. If you click on continue, then it will generate and download your video. So after you record and upload your own voice, you can also start using it in your videos. Hey there, junior developers. Do you have an interview coming up? Currently we have one of these AI speakers, but I can simply change the voice to my voice. Let's try it like this. Let's make sure you succeed with these five essential tips. First, we... So now if you can hear it clearly, it is actually using my own voice in the video. Another great feature of NVIDIA AI is you can translate your videos to another language. So as an example, let's change the language of this video to Spanish. Una entrevista de trabajo próximamente. Vamos a asegurarnos de que tengáis éxito. Now I am speaking Spanish in this video, which I actually can't. NVIDIA AI successfully changed the language of this video to from English to Spanish. So you can really create these videos effortlessly, but how good is the quality? I think it still depends on how much effort you put into your videos. If you really let AI to do everything, then probably the video quality won't be so high. But even if you write only, let's say, the video script itself, then you will see that your video quality will increase immediately. So it still depends on your creator skills. With the current AI technologies out there, we shouldn't just let it do everything and expect a higher quality. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.